Oh, you can see they've got quite a bit more completed since yesterday. Um, they don't mess about here, do they? It's all tidied up. They're getting the lettering on the uh, thing there. Right, so I'm here in Harbin. And uh, currently the temperature is about minus 20. I'm here at Snow and Ice World. It's not open yet. They are constructing it. So I am going to make a video all about the construction. I've took the drone up a few times. And I intend to fly today. So I'll put a link up here to that video. Um, I'm also going to put a video on my walk fly drive channel of the construction that'll be a lot of drone footage so you might want to check that out as well um but i'd like to give a big shout out to the sponsor of this video which is insta360 and they've been kind enough to um, provide me with a insta360 ace pro to record my vlog around harbin and uh there's a few great features um, about this camera. The first one is that it's got a two times zoom, which retains the quality of 4K because actually um, it's got an 8K uh, recording mode. So even when you zoom two times, you're still getting 4K. So that's like really, really good. And you can see um, how I zoomed in um, when we were looking at the construction just a short while ago. Okay, I'm now going to jump on the um, metro and head over to um, St. Sophia's Cathedral so we can have a look at that. Um, but before I do, I'm going to have a stop off at a Starbucks to get a nice warm latte. Many places will have these big sort of doors here in um, very cold places. It's something I see in Beijing and obviously here in uh, Harbin. So, again, I'm going off to my go-to place, which is Zhongyang Street, and I'm going to Starbucks to get a um, latte and warm up. It tends to be my go-to place when I'm cold, so uh, we jump on a metro. It's only two yuan, uh, it's two stops. Maybe it's even one yuan, but I think it's two yuan, so yeah, we'll go there and uh, get a coffee and get warm. Sit down and get a coffee. Uh, just two yuan. That is so cheap. Uh, oh, okay. I know where we are now. Yeah. God, it's way busier today. Absolutely. So many people. Loads more people selling stuff. Crikey, look at all this barbecue stuff here. Whoa, loads. Oh, and all this here, look. God, loads again. It's, uh, Anyway, I know where I'm headed. One other great feature that you can do with this um, Insta360 Ace Pro is you can actually pause a recording. So instead of starting and stopping and getting a new clip, you can actually pause and actually start it again. How cool is that? So the architecture here in Harbin is significantly different to the architecture in other parts of China. This has a much less Chinese feel to it. And it has a lot of Russian influence. In fact, some people refer to Harbin as China's little Russia. This is probably the coldest place I've ever spent a um, extended period of time in. And I grew up in the UK, as most of you will know. And at that time, you know, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, we had pretty harsh winters and we'd have prolonged periods where it'd be like minus four, minus five, maybe. But I tell you this, this is on a different level here. In the daytime right now, it's, it's the middle of December. The daytime, it gets to a high of about minus 17. Then at night it's kind of minus 25, minus 27. And even in the day, you know, it's pretty challenging dealing with this cold. You can't, it's not too bad if you're walking and moving. But as soon as you start standing still, wow, oh, the cold gets to you, man. Um, but even when you're walking, if you have your face exposed, 
um, you can really feel uh, the cold on your face. Your face starts to get numb, especially around my nose, because it's got such a big nose, I guess, but your face starts to get numb. And it becomes quite painful. Uh, right, so let's get myself inside and get a nice latte and uh, a bite to eat, because as I say, I've not had breakfast yet. Okay, this one here. We're coming in here. Got a bit of a cool dude. Hi. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's hang out. Sorry. Uh, and uh, uh, what shall we have? We'll have a uh, digger. Yeah. So we're going to have the bacon and egg croissant and the large um, toffee nut latte. Oh, there's a girl, a woman there in some um, costume. That's, uh, Maybe there's a photo shoot going on or something. Oh, I bet she's cold. Man, I don't think I'd want to be standing in there. Hey, Chang Lun! <laughs> she looks absolutely frozen. And they, uh, it's obviously um, a thing by the looks of it here. Because this is like the second or third one I've seen. And when they're getting their photos done. Well, she looks beautiful, Shalian. <laughs> wow, this must be some um, this must be some Russian style. Um, yeah, wow, she's getting some beautiful photos there. Really, really lovely. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's go find the, the. Oh, there's the cathedral right in front of me. Wow. Oh, crikey, there's loads of women here um, in costume, look. It's, oh, they're everywhere. Oh, my God. What a lot. What's going on here, look? Wow. So many. Getting photo shoots. I'll tell you what, they're braver than I am. Huh? Man, I wouldn't be wanting to faff around in a costume <laughs> in this weather. It's freezing, man. It's like minus 20. No, it's about minus 17, minus 18 at the moment, but it's still way too cold for me to be fucking about it now. There's the cathedral in all its glory. Yeah, yeah it's quite, uh, quite something, that is. But yeah, there's these girls here. <laughs> Oh, there's a strawberry thing coming right there. Yeah, we're getting there. Uh, oh, this girl's got the live. She's got a thing to keep her hands on. It's absolutely freezing. They all look freezing. Look, Is it really worth it for a photograph? Oh my god, freeze to death. Just look at a photo. And this is uh, one got a dog. Yeah, these are obviously very Russian style. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> so, again, trying out this uh, two times zoo. Um, and as you can see, the quality is very, very good because you're still getting um, 4K. <coughs> Even though you zoomed in uh, twice and it's really useful because on other action cameras, you tend to lose quality when you zoom in. And so it's uh, it's really useful to have as a spectacular view of the cathedral in all its glory. It's quite interesting because it looks as though this is the only sort of historic building here. And all around it, there's much newer stuff. That looks a bit old over there. I'm not sure about that, but yeah. Um, oh, I like this dress. This just looks lovely. Cream and dark red. Wow, she looks lovely in that. That's really beautiful. Come, Pialian. 
Wow, she looks lovely. <laughs> you must be so cold. Yeah, where are you from? Oh, Chongqing, I know. What you go, Chongqing, uh, Sam? Yeah. It is, it's a great city. I'm from Shenzhen. Yeah, have a great time. I hope your photos are great. <laughs> Oh, there's a girl from Chongqing there. Actually, thinking about it, you probably couldn't hear that girl's audio because I'm using my uh, Apple AirPods as a microphone because there's quite a bit of wind around, so it would uh, it would be a problem. So I'm using those as my audio, so you probably wouldn't hear what um, that girl says, but she says she's from Chongqing, and she says it's really cold because she's got nothing on her arms, which I can... Uh, I can quite get. So I'm here on the other side of the river and um, there's a lot of activities going on. You can see over here people getting swung around in inner tubes. So there so a tractor towing them around and swinging them around is pretty cool. So, really cool. These are 200 and uh, these bigger ones are 300 and you go around. Don't shout, don't shout. To be honest, it was a little too slow. I would prefer something much faster. It's uh, really too slow. The cost was 200 RMB for the quad bike, which is not that cheap, um, but obviously it's a tourist area. So like anywhere in the world, tourist areas are always more expensive, but it's definitely an experience worth doing. I can tick it off my bucket list. That I've drove a quad on a frozen river. And, uh, that was pretty cool. It just feels surreal to be walking on a completely frozen river and I think it's probably the first time I've ever done this. I'm going to use the zoom again on this Insta 360 Ace Pro to get you closer to the action. It looks a lot of fun. There's a lot of people doing that. There's not so many people going on the quad bikes and stuff. So this morning I've come to have a look at Harbin's Opera House and um, it's kind of a little bit warmer this morning than it has been for the uh, last a few days. It's only minus 17 this morning but um, I've seen pictures of this um, building online and it looks an absolutely stunning building and uh, so yeah let's go and uh, check it out. There's quite a few steps to walk up here. But, um, I'm, I'm up for it. Uh, I just hope there's somewhere I can stand inside in the warm so I can get my drone out and uh, fly my drone around it. Uh, oh, wow. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at the shape of it all. Wow. They really do know how to build some good looking architecture in China, don't they? For sure.
Hi. Hi. So these are the guys that are working on the uh, the snow and the ice things, and they've kindly let me come and sit in their cabin while I'm flying my drone so I can keep warm. Now, yeah. there's the guys, they've, they've come to have their break here, and uh, um, yeah, they, they, they're working good. So, a massive, I'd like to say a massive Hello. thank you to these guys for letting me sit here. It's really appreciated. <laughs> Thank you, Sissier. <Cissier. laughs> it was really nice of those guys to let me uh, stand in their hut. It made a massive difference. So, this street is uh, Central Street or Zhongyang Lu, Zhongyang Street in Chinese. And uh, these lovely group of ladies here are having photographs there. Just found out they're all from Guangzhou. So not very far away from where I am in Shenzhen. Bye! Bye! Oh, we need to wait till we can cross. So uh, let's take a look around Central Street and see what it's about. It seems cars just don't stop here in Harbin. Even when the lights are on green. It's a bit dangerous, man. You have to be careful. Um, so... This is a famous sort of shopping street here in Harbin. And uh, I can already hear some like Russian style music. Uh, I think, I think it's Russian style music playing. Right, there's a big queue of people here. And this is a very, very famous brand of ice cream. They sell a ice lolly, I think. And a lot of people will come here and buy those ice lollies. But I'll tell you what. Oh, God. They're not the cheapest of ice lollies, 18 yuan. But there's no way I could eat an ice lolly in this weather. My God. They must be making a lot of money. Look, look at all those. Wow. They're all in there, look, see. Wow, they're doing a roaring trade. So many people all waiting for their ice cream. Now, oh, this is interesting because in Shenzhen, these will be flowers. But here, they're sheaths of corn. What this means is this, is, this will be a new business that's opened. And I'd like to say good luck and good fortune in your new business opening. These will be all your suppliers. And your suppliers will send these uh, uh, wreaths of corn here, look. Um, whereas in Shenzhen, it's normally flowers. But they'll send these for like, to wish you a prosperous business in your new opening or your new venture. Uh, here's the Li Ning store. I like Li Ning. Li Ning's a bit strange though, because some seasons the stuff I really like, and then other seasons the stuff's like really crazy. They've got this like urban wear brand, which is for young people, but all that one a bit older, I still like some of the stuff. Oh, here's one of the uh, Russian stores. Let's go and have a look, see what's in there. Russian dolls. They're so nice. Bakery goods here. Oh, yeah, here's all the chocolate, look. Yeah, chocolate's really nice. Again, I shall have to... Um, Treat myself to some before I leave Harbin. God, so many different brands. It looks nice though. Oh, Madagascan, 55%. I bet that's nice. And then here you've got vodkas. Russian vodkas. Honey vodka. That sounds nice. Jack or black. <laughs> bit of a bit of a rip off of the Jack Daniels label going on there. Oh, these are gorgeous, these are. These are so nice. These bars. I'm not, I'm not sure what's in them. It's nuts and like a brittle toffee with chocolate on, but they're really, really nice. Uh, okay, so back outside on Central Street. Oh my God, there's a, there's a huge queue of people. Oh, these are ones that have been made already. But the fresh ones are over here. 
there's uh, quite a lot of people waiting to get one by the looks it so I better join the queue there's a lot of people here waiting so it's obviously very popular what a great business to have some business that people are literally queuing all day long to buy your stuff as I say it's called chimney bread I'm sure they'll take uh, WeChat or Alipay oh, it smells absolutely delicious man the smell coming from there is really good it's a sweet sweet croissant -y bread smell it's lovely uh, original okay okay oh, so we've got it here it is I'm looking forward to trying that wow it's steaming hot look so I'm now going to give it a try but I think it might be a bit hot here it goes look oh look at that let's give it a try oh my lord that is absolutely lovely mm. no can't describe what that tastes like it's kind of a bit like a donutty taste maybe yeah it's really good I've just noticed all these ice lollies here look loads of them there's nobody actually here selling them it's got five one ten for three yuan oh my god that's really cheap I do hope you liked that video in Harbin if you did hit that thumbs up button if you are coming here to Harbin make sure you buy the right clothing because the temperature is really a challenge here that's no joke and uh, if you do like the channel consider hitting that subscribe button but as always for now take care